Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. I'm bringing you another card from the um, Artistic Expressions, um, and I'm going to use the Artisan Textures um, just for some for the background. Um, this is going to be another nice clean cut card. We're also going to use the lovely butterfly die in the matching die set. We'll use this one and so let's get to it right to start with um, I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana as like my main colour so I've got an, a card base cut um, to standard card size so it's like 14.9 by 10 and a half um, I've got a layer of the Coastal Cabana which is uh, eight mil in, and then I've got a piece of Whisper White, which is four. I've also got a piece of Whisper White, which we're gonna pop our sentiment onto, which is an inch thick. Um, it might get cut down, so I've got it big enough for my sentiment, um, which is the thank you. So it might not need cutting down. We'll see. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be very cheeky and frugal. And this pip I am going to cut our butterfly out of. It is going to be hidden by our white piece, so no harm there. Let me grab my big shot and the dies. So I'm just going to pop the die down and I'm actually just going to pop the piece of cardstock over the top. Sandwich it. I've got it pretty much in the middle so it should shouldn't really affect the card in any way sorry about the wobbling okay so that's come out lovely and then we'll pop that out in just a sec let's move you to the floor out of the way Could just use my brush. Look how easy that came out. Lovely. Just that one little bit. Fab. What a gorgeous dye. So, like I said, I'm being a bit frugal. You could use another piece, but. I like to be quite efficient with, with my crafting. So that's going to pop on top of there. And when that's actually on the card, you never know. This is going to go over the top. So, to the stamping side, what we're going to do is I also... Oh, got a bit of night of navy, that might do it. I'm going to cut out and now you can use any colour you want I was half tempted to go black but then I thought it would be a bit harsh so we'll try the night of navy we're going to layer this on top so I want to create some nice greenery around it I might not use the night of navy I might use a different colour we'll see um, around it so I'm just gonna grab a pencil I'm just gonna make a little dot in a few spots so I know how far to to come out with my stamping start again so I'm using the textured piece from the artisan textures I just wanted to get some of that texture going through my card That's all I want. It's only a couple of sprigs. Ooh. Okay. And now I'm going to use a lemon lime twist. 
then you're going to use granny apple green. So, so we have these two, which is the grass. Or like a grass. They actually, I think, layer on top of each other. Ish. No, I don't actually. I don't think they do. So I'm going to use the lemon lime twist. And we're going to go full strength, and we're going to just sprig it around. take granny apple green we're just going to kind of try and get in those bits in between it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but it will come together I promise so That will be, but we're going to get some flowers in there. So I'm going to bring in these ones, and we're going to stamp those in coastal corner. So I'm going to kind of angle it so we've got not all of them poking out. Right, now I might bring in some burlap. And maybe some sparkles. sentiment shall we stamp it in I think the coastal cabana
Okay. Just snip that down a little. Yep. Okay, so let's start putting this together. We will add some gems or something to it, um, methinks. So, do these flat together. Oh, I don't know where I'm on. Take, oh, there it is. When I'm crafting, I have so much stuff on my table. We need to attach the burlap. Then I'm going to attach the sequins. This is going to be raised up. Um, where are dimensionals gone? Oh, there they are. So I think the butterfly is going to go down flat and because it's going on there, I think I should probably just stick a bit of... Mm -hmm. 
this we should raise up. I like the skew if he's like a slight skew if -iness. I think just it needs one more thing now I keep all my uh, some of my like sequiny bits oh, I had no idea where to put them so they are in here now which is the share what you love um, little box which I do love now we've got some I've got some of the ones from last year the large ones and I've got some of the new ones from this year so the large ones as you can say are I'm seeing are quite a bit larger um, so I'm going to do a mixture of these so let's go for big one A little one. Should have probably done a big one at the top. So here we are finished. We've used some of the framelits. We've used a combination of greens. Um, I've really enjoyed making this card. Sorry about the noise. Uh, my next door neighbour's mown his lawn. Um, but this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. If you've liked my card, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like any of the items I featured today, just go to my website and you can find out more. So this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's. See you later. Bye.